and where Paul will see them first. Fred Makiewicz should be with you, Paul, I would have thought, in the 59 luxury racing car. Not yet. In the loop area. Yeah, there he goes. So uh, so he's going there down to Wellington straight now. And Alton is... Well, you should see Lee. Lee uh, yeah. There's the Mark Lieb car going down now. So they're separated by six, seven seconds, I would think. Alton is 30 seconds back from Akiviki. So whatever the gap uh, to uh, Lieb, take that away from 30 seconds. Yeah, here comes Alton now. Yeah, so Alton is, uh, I would say, too far behind to do anything about any of them. And... Well, we've only got three laps left, haven't we? And I don't think Lieb is going to be able to recover that uh, gap back to Makovici in that time, I'm afraid. Um, now, what about Bruni? Are they going to be able to eke out the last few litres of fuel in that? We have mentioned Formula Le Mans for ages because not much has changed. 95, 93 and 99. The only thing that has changed slightly, and that's because the leader has done one more pit stop in the second place, is that the 95 Pegasus racing car now uh, only has a 32 second lead rather than a full lap uh, on the Genoa racing car in second place but there is a lap between second and third Kyle Marcelli's been putting in some decent times though but Grogo uh, in the Jordan Groga in the uh, Genoa Racing, the uh, London Project car, is flying at the moment. Don't let, let's not forget all three drivers in the 93 car are rookies in Formula Le Mans. None of them have raced in this uh, this one racing before. They've raced Radicals and GT cars over in the Gulf, but not at this level. Cascarolo coming in for a splash. Ah, so they couldn't go to the end then, Julian Juice. We were speculating on that Needs earlier more juice, on. I'm afraid. Yes, a little more Julian. Uh, Tom Kimber Smith uh, with the. Uh, now a full lap on the rest of the field in P2 for the Zytec Nissan. In second place, the uh, number 40 race performance, Orica Judd. And in third place, Dominic Crown. And that's been a good recovery run by the 45. That car was by the side of the road, and we thought that was out. We did, we did. And uh, that's uh, pulled 50 seconds out on the RML car. But uh, Ben Collins has put in a cracking show, actually, in that car to just keep it in contention, just watch and wait couldn't battle on pace for it with rob garifol uh fifth in the mg lola who'd have thought that at the beginning of the race with the, uh, on its fourth engine and, and, and frankly not looking healthy at that stage i well, start from the pit lane so he lost the lap there straight away so give him that lap back and he would have been on terms with, with ben collins for fourth position. absolutely now the 16 Julian juice has uh, lost a position as a result of that uh, last minute uh, splash and dash he's uh, out of the pits now but uh, in the meantime the oak racing pescarolo number 15 has uh, gone through so uh, only just paul because those two are right yeah. together less than a second apart as they came past the last camera position we've seen is about two tenths would you say so there heading towards cops corner now in the evening sunshine what a beautiful early evening it is here at silverstone the threat of rain has now passed us by we've not had a well, we've had a couple of drops, but that's all it was. It hasn't affected the racing at all. And, Paul, you should be able to see that battle now as yeah. they come through the Beckett's complex. Yeah, Hughes giving it everything he's got. There's about three lengths between them as they go through the Beckett's S's and out onto the hangar straight. And, what, three laps left. So, uh, uh, of course, the Pescarolo feeling that they should uh, kind of have that position anyway. That's where they were before uh, Hughes had to come in for the extra splash of fuel. Oh, and... I'm afraid the Prescarola was held up by one of the Felbermeyer Porsches just a wee bit there as he came out, swinging out right-handed out of store corner, and that's cost him time down through the veil. And just looking at this GT battle, Matthew Vicky, a 205. Bruni is stroking this home here, guys. Yep. He's on a 2076 last time around. This it's is the tight. 51 it's car. Tight for him, isn't it? I mean, he's got he's got nearly a minute. Uh, he's got sort of. Uh, 50, 53 seconds between himself and Machiavicki, but he can't afford to cough or a splutter here. There's too many places that are uphill here. Silverstone, although the airfield circuit has, has had topography built into it over the years. Olsen still lapping very well, and it's a that's a real dear what might have been for BMW starting on the locking out the front row. Well, the, and, the, and the manner of them doing so was was dominant to, to actually take what had been a very closely fought uh, qualifying session in the way that they did with the pole position car beating the, the nearest non-BMW by, well, just a tenth, well, less than a tenth uh, uh, 
less than a second. Uh, it, it was was unbelievable, really. And uh, end, of this lap, end of this lap, I reckon, will be the last lap as uh, Julien Gis comes.